Hi, PDO for Integrate Nature, and what I have going on here is I'm building a rock wall off my tiny house off-grid pallet cabin. And you can see over here I have this water tank. See how it's sitting? Well, eventually I want it to sit on here, but up higher. I'm going to have a hot and cold in a row, and it's going to be put on top of this wall. So, I brought down some mortar some sand. I'm doing some off-grid building. I've got my initial base in. And it's going to kind of curve around up to here and tie in right here. So, and that's good because I'm going to I want to get as high as as the top right here. So it'll be level off right about down like that. And that'll give me a roof line that I can work off of and it'll also give me a place that I can transfer the weight of the water tank up top all the way through the solid wall into the ground so I don't have to worry about um, like water towers having all those feet having all the different things going on uh, as far as trying to enclose a water tower in the whole nine yards it'll be enclosed it will be uh, sun won't hit it I won't have to worry about algae that's a good thing so my rainwater collection system will sit like right here eventually on the inside of the wall so be inside it the whole nine yards will be away from sunshine and uh, that will be my main tank will be inside and all my pressure tanks will be on top. And then I'll run the heat exchanger down to the wood burner which is right there. That's the initial, that's initial layout and this is the initial wall. I wanted to show you what it looks like. Stay with me. It's going to be fun. Hello everybody, Pete here for Intricate Nature and uh, I want to show you what I got here. I prepped this trench right here. It goes all the way across and we've got a 13 foot pallet going in here. So I had some, uh, I finally got hold of some 18 foot pallets and I cut them down and I'm going to be putting it up here as my 8 foot wall. So this is, I've been working on this. This is the wall going up and around and this is going to hold the water supply. So that's why it's stone. And I want the out to go this side because the, the, the stone won't go that high so I'm going to go up to about here because I got a 200, 200 to 300 gallon tank going in here and uh, I don't need it to go super high I just need to be able to hold water coming off the, uh, off the uh, top of the uh, cabin and I'm going to probably size it up to size with some uh, with another part of a pallet so that's why the cab. That's why this wall only goes out to the edge of this edge of this concrete. The uh, not concrete. The edge of the, of the uh, mortar and sandstone wall. All right, stay with me. I'll show you how it looks when I done. I just want to show you a little trick. I know. So I forgot my my uh, level at home, and I'm putting in a wall in my cabin. What I have here is a used water bottle, Pepsi water bottle, square magic marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottle, put on a square, measure up five inches, make a line, turn a little bit more, five inches, make a line, five inches, make a line, five inches, make a line, and so on, all the way around the bottle, to where we're able to connect the dots then I'm going to fill with water and I will have a level line around the whole thing because water seeks its own level. So I'll put the water in there and when it's out of level the water will be opposite and when it's straight the water will be level. This is equal to this. Hold this out a little further. This is equal to this. So if I lay it from here to here that becomes my level. Water seeks its own level. I know exactly where my wall is. It can create a level off grid using garbage. Pretty cool, I just wanted to show you that. It's quick, easy, fast. 
how to create your own <clears throat> own water own level for building off the grid. So here we go. We got a view overlooking the pond from this side. So I really haven't decided what I want to do here. I do have additional glass for walls if I decide. Um, I wish I wasn't planning on doing it, but now that I'm sitting here looking at this pond view. Maybe I will. Uh, the additional walls for here, I have it already. It's sitting right there. Uh, I got two 10 foot pallets and it is uh, 11 foot. So I have to decide what I want to do here. It'll probably be 12 by the time I lap the edges. So these, those two stones originally were put in to have a doorway there. Cause so that I, when I would come out this door, because the door is going to be right there, when I come out this door, it could go right out that door. And then leave that area contained. But uh, we're going to see how it goes. Maybe we'll put the door someplace else. Maybe I'll put a big glass double door in. I have one, so why not? And, uh, that's a cooler, so we might be cutting that in somewhere eventually too. So uh, stay with me, it's Pete from Intricate Nature. Start working on this little addition to the back. And we'll show you how it goes.